Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Heather, and if this is your first time visiting, thanks for joining. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and share this video with a sewing friend. We're going to make some binky holders today. I ordered uh, these, they're like clips, and some ribbon packages. It was the most uh, economical to buy this uh, mix. They're one inches wide, and there's a, a just an assortment of ribbons. They're also cute. I'm hoping that there are some things in here for little boys, because little boys don't want to wear pink flowers. So this is the first pack out of the box. Butterflies and more butterflies. Let's see if there's put this blue there's some blue ribbon in this package here. So you're gonna need one inch ribbon and those clips that are one inch pacifier holders. Pacifier bib clips. This could work for a boy. That's cute. Let's see what's in the next one. One out of all of these is for a boy. That I would consider anyway. I, you know, I, who knows what mothers want for their babies. These are cute. Okay. So now, the first thing we want to do is we want to cut these 10 inches. So I'm just going to take a few of these and I'm going to lay them down so that they're all pretty much even. And if these are not exactly 10 inches, there's no need to worry about it. You can make them shorter or longer. But these are so cute. And since my daughter just had a baby, it's her third one, and they just had a little girl, I thought that this would be a good time to make these. All right, so I'm just going to cut one of each for the video. And here's the 10 inch mark. So we're just going to cut, and like I said, it doesn't have to be exact. I'm just cutting through a few at a time. Oh, and there goes my ribbon. Okay, so I've got 12 here, and you're going to need one of clip per ribbon, and then you're going to need some kind of uh, rat tail cord or silk cord is another name for it. These are um, one millimeter. Two millimeter might work better, but uh, I've got some some rat tail cord somewhere and it's satiny and there's so many colors and I can't find them so I'm just going to go through these really quick because there were a couple that I know that one would look okay with black so we'll do this one in black this one has gold on it so I'm going to just set that one aside till I find my other ribbon or my other cord so we'll do this one in black and the rest we'll do in silver So we'll set these aside. Now we want two blacks. So we're going to cut those at uh, six inches. Here. Okay, so we're done with that. We're going to turn this into a loop. We'll sew it just like this. Okay, so let's go to the machine and we'll do that. Okay, so hopefully that's a good angle for you. And I've got a foot on that gives me a zigzag, um, room for a zigzag. I'm just going to place that on there and I'm going to lower my stitch 
So let's see what 1.4 does for me. And we're just going to sew over the edge here. Just about maybe a quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch. Doesn't matter how much. And let's see if it catches the thread or catches the ribbon. Let's do another one because I think that kept I think that caught that pretty good. So I'm just going to fold this one in half. One thing you could do you could do here is you could uh, either painstakingly pin the cord down or you could use some glue so I will just zip through these and we will be right back all right so now what we want to do is I've got these separated Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this over twice. And I'm keeping the ribbon up like that. And now at this point we're going to pin. Just to the right of the cord. Like that. Okay, now we're ready to switch to a zigzag stitch and I'm going to leave my stitch length at 1.4 I'll know I'm going to turn it down to 1.2 and I'm going to have my millimeter width at 2.5 So I'm just going to kind of like put it so that the, the zigzag will go right down the middle of that fold So now we're going to add our clips. You want to make sure that you're working from the top side. And you're going to feed it down through that loop here. And I have to get my other foot out here. You want to take the top side of the ribbon and you're going to feed it through the top of that loop. And you're going to, about an inch, okay? Then you're going to fold that in half. Now we're going to bring it to the sewing machine. And we're going to sew just a straight line, just on that edge there. Do it again. 
top of the ribbon through the top of the clip where you're grabbing it. Fold it over about an inch. Fold that in half. So let's back up here. So here they are. Aren't these adorable? These are so cute. All right. So the first thing you do is you have a binky. A r you have a ring on the end of the binky. And so I'll make this my, my binky ring. I'm going to run that through there like that. Take the clip through here. And then pull this tight. Now, of course, when you get to the binky ring, it's going to go over that ribbon just like that. That'll be, that'll be attached to the binky. And then the other end clips onto the baby's bib or is his little, his or her little shirt, blouse, dress. You clip that down and then it's always right there. And you don't have to worry about going, a, you know, on a stroller and it popping out and landing on the ground. There you go, guys. Aren't these just adorable? I like this one for a little boy in his tuxedo. So cute and easy. Don't you think this was easy? Have fun, guys. I really appreciate you sticking with me all the way to the end. And uh, don't forget to find me on Facebook and Instagram. Leave me a comment in the video section so I know that you guys enjoyed it or what other if you made these before what did you use maybe you use something else how about a holder for an adult for a water bottle that's a good idea i'm going to make one of those next i'll show you how i make those all right thanks again till next time love you Bye bye